Hi Makers, we are going to go ahead and unbox our Making Marks Camp Kit. Thank you for getting one. I'm so excited about this one. It's filled with all kinds of cool materials. All right, let's start at the paint over here. So you can see we have two rows of paint stacked on top of each other. The first layer, you should have a pink, a yellow, and a light blue, and a black and a white. And those three, uh, those five are acrylic paints. And you can see that they're kind of stuck inside my little container. They're nice and thick. So those are the acrylics. Underneath those, we have the same colors, um, but a, a dark blue this time. So it's a pink, yellow, blue, black, and white. And these are a tempera paint. And we're gonna talk about the difference between acrylic and tempera paints, um, both in how they're made, but also in how they look and how they work when we paint with them. Um, so we should have 10 cups of paint. We should also have one little cup with glue inside. And then we've got some other paint materials too. We have a watercolor set that comes with a nice little brush. And we should all have a make room pouch inside of here is something called a tempera stick so they look kind of like a glue stick but they're a color so they're really 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 cool material and they just work exactly like a glue stick so you twist it up to make it come out more twist it back down to close it up when you use these you want to be um, gentle with the twisting you don't want to twist them all the way out or they can break just like a glue stick but there's a nice full set there should be 12 colors in there, okay? Also, different types of materials to make marks with. We have, um, you should have one color of a bingo dauber or a bingo marker. These are cool. They have a liquid inside, kind of like um, an ink or a watercolor. But when you squeeze and use these, they should, oh yes, you just push this little tip to kind of wake it up. And when you tip it upside down, color will come to the end there. And you can use these to draw or make dots. Your color may be the same as mine or may be different. We also have this little wrap set and inside of this is two different Posca paint pens. So if you haven't noticed, the theme for this kit is painting. And these are a black and a white paint pen. And these are some of the nicest paint pens that I've ever used. I've used a lot of different ones. Um, and these are really fun. We're going to talk about how to use those without making too big of a mess. We should also have a Miss Megan's Maker and Pencil and two different size craft brushes. There's a large one because we're going to be making large abstract strokes with this class. And then we have a smaller one. This one is, I use these at the studio for a glue brush, but for this, pro uh, this class, we'll also be able to use them with paint. So it's just a smaller craft brush. Other fun things in this kit, you should have a sticker of some kind, just for fun. And then you should have a mini spirograph set. I grew up doing spirographs. I had my mom's set, I had my own set, and we use these a lot just for fun time in the studio, and I found these cool little mini sets. If you open it up, it's got kind of a picture here to show you what you can make with it. It's got this flat piece so that when you put your paper on, there's a flat surface to draw on. And then underneath it, you should have four different color gears. So we're gonna talk about how to use that um, in ways that we can make different things using that um, to make our art. I used to use these all the time, not just as a kid, but even in college and as a grown up, I really love to make these. We should have this little set right here that has a basting brush, or you can call it a pastry brush. This is a tool you might see mom and dad using for cooking. When we do this camp in the studio, I have a whole bucket full of all kinds of different brushes um, that aren't what we think of when we think of paint brushes. And we're gonna talk about other things that you might be able to find around the house um, that you can use with mom and dad's permission. Uh, to paint with or um, just ways to kind of think about a brush in a new and exciting way. You should also have a set of three palette knives. Palette knives are traditionally used with oil paints 
which we don't have in our kit, but they can still make really cool marks. You can use them to like dab and scrape um, and get kind of a texture with your paint versus just brushing it smooth and flat. Also should have two little squares of bubble wrap. Do not pop the bubbles. I know it's so hard not to, but until you're all done painting, do not pop the bubbles. Once you've painted, you can rinse this off and we can dry it off and then you can go to town. But for now, just set it aside. Pretend it's not even there. I know it's so hard. We should have one piece of corrugated cardboard, the bumpy stuff. Corrugated just means this bumpiness. Um, corrugated cardboard, usually when we see it has just the bumps covered up with flat pieces on both sides like a cardboard box um, but this is also going to be a painting tool kind of like a stamp we have a monster truck the monster truck again this looks like a monster truck that we would play with outside in the sand whatever maybe you don't even really like trucks but this is actually a paint brush or a paint tool we're going to be using this to get some cool marks in our paintings as well we're gonna be talking about layering and making a mess and it's just gonna be so great. We should have one cup. Your cup might be a different color, but it's like a big cupcake wrapper type cup. Um, and this is going to actually be our paint bowl when we start doing things like dripping with paint. We're gonna be able to use this bowl to add water to our paints to really thin it down so that we can do drips and splatters and things like that. Inside it though, you should be able to find one, two sponge pieces, color may be different. Again, a painting tool. You should find a few little building blocks. You should find a piece of necklace. You should find a handy little pencil sharpener for that pencil that you've got. And you should find one game dice. If you um, are done with this kit, you can go ahead and throw it. Maybe you've got a game that um, is missing its dice you can repurpose it for that we're actually going to be playing a drawing game inspired by one of my favorite artists named Jean-Michel Basquiat all right underneath all of those things we have our other materials so we should have one piece of white watercolor paper we're going to be doing a watercolor um, paint and drawing exercise on this one we've got a black paper which we're going to be using for our drawing game we should have two different neon colored papers so I happen to have a yellow and an orange in mine you might have pink or green or red but you should have two different colored neons you should have one canvas board and you should have a piece of newspaper this newspaper is going to be a collage material but um, because the kind of painting that we're gonna be talking about, newspaper isn't quite thick enough for the types of things that we're gonna do, so we're gonna be using that as a collage material. And then you should also have one 12 by 12 piece of cardboard. We're gonna be doing a cool abstract expressionist style painting on here inspired by one of my very favorites, Franz Klein. A good one for that if we're going to be talking about how to use this brush for that project. I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite uh, camps to do in the studio because we always make such a big, huge mess, um, which is one of my favorite things to do in art making. Other things that you can collect for doing this camp um, are some collage materials. So if you have, say, wrappers for things or old bits of wrapping paper. You can find other newsprint items or things that come in the mail. I really love to use the inside of envelopes. Um, so if mom and dad get mail and they're trying to throw out those cool envelopes with like the blue print inside, save some of those. Say, no, I need that for my art. Anything that you think is a flat paper material that you wouldn't mind ripping up and getting paint on top of, we can use it. I'm gonna have um, a different, some different things just to, from my house, probably, in my collage when we do that, but that's something that you can be looking for while, um, before we go on to the next videos.
If you are missing anything in your kit, please have mom and dad contact me right away. They can email me, they can call me, or they can find me on Facebook or Instagram and shoot me a message. But I wanna be sure that we have everything that you need before we get started. Go ahead, take a look in your box, double check that you have everything, and I'll see you in the next video.